Okay, in this tutorial we'll continue with just a few more tips about cycles and how I work. So now in this case I've changed the color of my ground plane in here. So it's fairly neutral. Let's take a look. So it's just, it's almost white, just grayish white, pretty centered. So, and I like to work this way because what I like to do is accent things with color lights. And it's kind of like the way I paint as well. You know, I want little colors everywhere to kind of bring things out. So in here, since I have my blue in here, I'm going to accent it maybe with this little bit of this yellowish, maybe slightly orange light that I have here built into the scene. Now notice I have it cranked up pretty good, but maybe it's not quite bright enough for me. You know, I could actually make it brighter by moving it closer to the scene, and but then the light gets in the way I can see over there. But maybe that's not what I want. One thing that I've done prior to getting started, I went over to the render tab and down here under the sampling button here, I've changed the preview to 25. That way I get a cleaner render. Otherwise, you can see if I change it down to 10 and move this around, it'll feel a little bit rougher. So sometimes it's hard to tell. So the nicer thing, again, I'll crank it even up to 35. The nicest thing about these small windows is, and cycles, it just, just renders quite quick like this. So, but if I want this brighter, I'm not necessarily going to come up and crank up the brightness here because if you do, say it's at 3.5 and maybe I'll just make it say 25. Well, then, then the problem you have is then you start getting these firefly effects that show up in here. So you're better off adding more light in a different way. So I'll change this back down to 3.5. And then in this, I'll just, see this is nice, I could work over here in this window. So I'll just change this by scaling the light. Now I scale it up. Now I'm adding more of that color light to the scene, but yet I don't, loo I don't have that same uh, type of problem that I have in there before. Actually, I can move it a little bit away from the scene like that, and then I started adding colors this way. So then I might come in and add a different color over here, and then that's how I start building the mood for the, whatever scene that I want to make. But as colors I've found over the years makes just a huge amount of difference. Having a lot of light is really a lot of fun in order to make a painting or your scene come to life. So just a quick pointer, and that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.